So I just found the most beautiful hognose snake I have ever seen. Its markings and colors are so vibrant and striking, no pun intended. I mean, of course, it's a, it's a young snake and that makes the markings more vibrant. But that being said, this individual is still incredibly beautiful. So right now you see all this amazing pattern and colorization on these snakes. But you gotta keep in mind, these are younger hognose snakes. As they grow older, they will take on you know, a darker appearance, more of a drab color. Usually in this area, they take on like a rich brown or reddish brown coloration. To be completely honest, these snakes are mild mannered. Um, you know, they put up a threat display when they're nervous or startled. but it's very often more bark than bite. However, these snakes, like many snakes, will feed on you know little mice and rodents and sometimes invertebrates, but their preferred food item happen to be toads. And as you may or may not know, toads do have poison you know, within their skin, especially in their paratoid glands. You apply a little bit of pressure and this poison comes out. Well, the hognose snake has a way to uh, address that problem. Being hognose snakes, they are mildly venomous. Now that venom is kind of medically insignificant to humans, although there are some cases where somebody has a bad day. But that, that venom is mainly geared towards neutralizing the toad poison, so of course neutralizing their prey so that they can catch it. If you ever handled a toad, you've probably noticed the toads will puff up as one of their defense mechanisms. Well, the snake also happens to use its rear fangs, which is how they deliver their, their venom. Those rear fangs also puncture or pierce the toad and deflate it. What a beautiful species. They'll inflate their neck like the hood of a cobra, and it actually looks very convincing. That doesn't work. They'll actually roll over and play dead. Even though these are hognose snakes, you can clearly see that they can be quick when they want to be. They blend in perfectly with their environment. And you know, these are eastern hognose snakes, so you know, their entire habitat isn't sandy pine barrens. They can be found in deciduous woodlands and leaf litter and all those habitats and they're equally as camouflaged there. Now this one's a little bit more cantankerous but it makes sense because it's about to molt soon. And when snakes are about to molt, their eyes become a little opaque and have trouble seeing, it makes them feel less comfortable. How cool is that? I mean, aren't these really cool looking snakes? Beautiful colors, especially that first one where it kind of tapered to a greenish. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it had the, the yellow, the tan, the brown, the black, and the white and this overall or this you know green sheen going towards the tail end you know being hognose snakes again especially with this you know patternization their tails can be like either dark or kind of a pale yellow especially with the western hognose snakes and it kind of resembles the rattle of a rattlesnake and like many snakes when disturbed they might vibrate that tail in the leaf litter and stuff and it sounds like a rattle so thanks a lot for watching hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you somewhere else